What's up guys, City Sport Fast Lane T. Today we've got all the toys out. We've got my 2014 Yamaha R1, AKA Storm. And we've got my 2011 Harley Davidson V Rod Muscle Baby, AKA Ivy. We've also got my Toyota Tundra out. Now I don't bring her out on the channel a lot, but you guys might start seeing some more of her. Now it is the 4th of July, hence my American flag tank. It is hot as hell. My forehead is starting to look like a crunch bar. I don't think I've ever had both bikes out in the same video. So that means we got to do a double cold start. Yeah. Talk to me, girl. Talk to me. Ooh wee. Woo! All right, let's get Ivy started up. That American muscle, baby. Ivy. Oh yeah. Look at that shot. Hey, look at that big old booty, though. Hey, one more time. Oh. Woo! Now, comment down below which one you think sounds better and which one you think is louder. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Here's the sound of the R1. One more. That sounds so mean. All right, then we got the sound of the V-Rod. Oh man! <laughs> Comment below which one you think is louder, the V-Rod or the R1. Man, I can't believe these bikes are both mine. Alright, it's time for that intro, baby! subscribers let's go all right shout out to all y'all that hit that red subscribe button thank you guys we also hit 10,000 watch hours which means we're monetized baby ah, we're rolling in it all right now before we get into this video i want you guys to know i did not make this channel to make money all right i have an awesome job which has allowed me to pay for all these bikes and my truck i have everything the titles in hand I have a rental property, et cetera, et cetera. So, I didn't do this to make money. I did this to share my experiences with you guys on my bikes and in my truck because I know when you get started riding, you have lots of questions and not everyone has riding buddies there to answer these questions for them. So, if you guys ever have any questions or anything you wanna make a video on, drop it in the comments down below and I'll be there responding to you guys. All right, let's get into the fun part, baby. Woo! All right, guys, here we go when i click the dashboard page on my youtube studio here's what i see i feel like i'm like being exposed like you know the first time you get someone home and like you see them naked and you're checking them out you're like, oh, i can work with that that's how i feel right now if you see in the top right um 1106 subscribers currently thank you to everyone that's shown support for the channel and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't do so views 20.1k views and then watch time uh, 1.1. Now in the top left, you can see my performance in my last video about the V-Rod. Y'all are freaking loving it. One out of 10 of all time videos on the channel. All right, that is awesome. 315 views, impressions, click through rate. Basically just tells you how many people see the thumbnail and actually click it, 11.5%. 
and then the average view duration. Now, to get to the part that you guys really wanna see, um, the analytics, so we'll click the analytics tab, and we'll click my estimated revenue, and then we'll bring me back up here. So you can see that I have made $45.21. Let's go! Ballin' drinks on fast lane D. <laughs> it's ebbed and flowed here a little bit. Um, but if you do the math over the last 28 days, it comes out to be a dollar eighty-one. First day on YouTube where I could get monetized, I made fifty-five cents, and it's kind of gone up there. Like I said, I didn't start YouTube to start balling out and making money, um, but so I want you guys to really see a realistic view of how much money you can make. It's kind of ebbed and flowed. And on the days I posted videos, you can see it spike and then it starts coming right back down if you do the math over the last 28 days i've made a dollar 81. if you multiply that times 30 that ends up being 54 dollars and 25 cents i'd make in a 30 month period now youtube is a little bit different in how they pay you you get paid per month so from june 1st to june 30th is what i get paid for and if we click the revenue tab sorry i had to hide my cpm at the top right here so your cpm basically tells you per 1000 views how much money you will get it has to be monetized views as you saw earlier the actual views and my monetized views are very 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 different so for the month of june 39.49 is how much i made in my first month on youtube creators get paid on the 15th of the following month for their last month so on july 15th i would get paid 39.49 for the month of june now there's a 100 dollars threshold for getting paid on youtube so i will not receive a check on july 15th i will not get an actual paycheck until i hit that 100 dollars threshold so i'm hoping August 15th, I can get paid for the months of July and June. Hopefully, I do hit that $100 threshold. And if we look here, you can see that Icon Airflight video is killing it. $13.75. I did not expect that video to do that well. That's one of the most popular videos on my channel. <laughs> Uh, the helmet review. It's funny, YouTube's interesting. Sometimes you put your heart and soul into a video and it doesn't do that well. And then other videos that you wouldn't expect to do that well actually end up taking off. Like this video, I hate my CBR 1000 bar. That's, this video has the most views on my channel. And I made this years ago, years ago, and it's still making me money, which is really cool. $6.99, and you guys love the V-Rod. The V-Rod seems to be the biggest attractor on the channel. I get the most views about that bike. You would think it'd be the R1, but it's really the V-Rod. And then down here, you can just see my estimated ad revenue, $43.46. Premium revenue, $1.74. Ad types that are actually making me money or the ad types they're showing, 72.3% of the skippable ads. So I appreciate you guys that are actually watching the ads and not skipping them. Um, that helps support the channel. And then you got the bumper ads, display ads, etc., etc. You guys can read through that. You can see in July, it's already been a great month, 572. Um, and it's only July 5th. But we're hoping we can make more in July than I made in June. Now, some of you may be wondering, what the heck are you going to do with all this money? All this money you're making. Honestly, all this money will just get reinvested back into the channel. For more gear reviews so that I can test out the gear and let you guys know what I think about it. Parts for the bike, mods for the bike. Give you guys my honest opinion and review so that you can make a better educated and informed decision. Maybe one day we'll be making enough to where it could pay for a bike. That would be awesome. That would be a good dream. And then I can make videos and content on that so that you guys can make an educated decision on if the bike's right for you. So that's a look into the analytics of my channel. Let me know what you guys think. Is that more than what you think I was going to make? Is it less? Is it right on par? I'll make these videos as the channel grows more and more and more. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. I feel like more people should open up about this kind of stuff, especially in the moto vlogging community. Uh, I feel like there's not a lot of content on this. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Fastlane these out, baby. Peace.